a founding member of the Bretton Woods Institution, Egypt has signed four loan agreements with the IMF over the years, totaling $1.85 billion. Of this amount, it has only made use of a fifth, $263 million. The money itself was not the issue, but the endorsement of the IMF encourages foreign businesses to invest in the country. For example, in 1993, Egypt signed a loan agreement but did not use one dollar from the promised loan. It wasn't so easy, though, when Egypt badly needed the money in 2011. Six governments in three years struggled to agree a deal for $4.8 billion. The sticking point is the austerity measures demanded by the IMF, especially cancelling subsidies and increasing debt. The governments were not able to meet these requirements because of the burden it would place on the people living in social and economic hardships. That was evident when former President Morsi tried to apply IMF policies in December 2012. People took to the streets in mass protests. He had to cancel the measures in a couple of hours. The current government has learned the lessons and taken a different route. It turned to friendly Gulf states for assistance. It was a crucial step. $12 billion in one month improved the budget, increased foreign reserves, stabilized the Egyptian pound and pushed ratings up to B. Most importantly, it was away from the publicly and widely unpopular IMF. Gulf money also enabled the state to adopt two stimulus packages, pumping $7 billion into the market, a contradictory policy to the IMF, which prefers cuts in government spending. Now the roles have been reversed. The IMF said this week it is ready to provide Egypt with the long-sought-after loan, while the U.S. announced it will use its leverage inside the institution to push the loan through. Egypt this time around declined the generous offer. We don't need the loan at this moment. We currently have other options, but you're in contact with the organization's experts for technical assistance. Analysts say the stimulus package is the government's last option to solve the economic crisis. If it fails, they will have to go back to square one and begin talks again with the IMF. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.